So why do you say this is the world's most advanced grease trap system? Well, this differs, significantly differs than your passive type grease trap. Uh, your passive grease, passive style grease trap is basically a holding tank. So you have wastewater coming in. Uh, it could be from your three compartment sink, uh, pre-rinse sink, and dishwasher. Uh, so that unit has to be pumped out once a month. Um, it's got, uh, it, it has foul odors uh, coming from it. It's, uh, it's a festation, sorry, it's a breeding ground and festation uh, feeding ground for insects and pests. Uh, also needs to be, requires to be pumped out once a month. Uh, downstream from the grease trap you have blockages in the drainage and so forth. With our unit here, everything is captured at the source. It's, a, it's an operator maintained unit versus the passive style, which you have to provide, uh, sorry, you have to schedule pump outs once a month and you have to have another service to flush out the drains uh, periodically. Here at the inlet chamber, there's a straighter basket, captures the, uh, the solids, the food organics, and so forth. Right? That's removed at the end of the day and it's dumped into the garbage. And then you have. So then the, the, waste, the rest of the wastewater effluent comes into the, the, below this chamber. This is called the separation chamber. Fats, oil, grease are lighter than water. They settle at the top. And, and what happens is when you when you discharge your, 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 your sinks, if you focus, that's called the oil spout assembly. You're going to have the grease come out of that unit right there. Let me give you one more. So it's 99.9% .9 efficient at removing or recovering the fats, oil, and grease. Discharging downstream into your, your city line or your, or your, your septic system, you just have clear gray water. 99% fog, fat, oil, grease, free. And, and, and that's it. With your t conventional and passive style trap, your efficiency may be 40%. You're going to have blockages, you're going to have odor problems, and you're going to have to schedule maintenance uh, pick, uh, once a month uh, for your pump outs and your, your flush outs every four months. That's why this is the world's most advanced grease trap system. Oper uh, operator maintained, uh, no odor, no uh, further maintenance required. So definitely very environmentally friendly. Absolutely. Extremely environmentally friendly. What are they friendly. saying at the show here? What are they saying at the show? Well, we've got a number of clients that are uh, uh, on board here. Uh, we've got uh, Carafoos. They've started to retrofit these uh, units into the, all their uh, old builds. And now their new builds, they've made this part of the standard equipment package into their new restaurants. We have national chains such as uh, New York Fries and South Street Burger on board, A&W. We've got uh, McDonald's restaurants, uh, golf courses, St. George's, Big Win Island, West Golf. I can name you a whole That's dozen. That's pretty good. Yeah, so we've got a lot of impressive clients. Uh, municipal clients, we've got the CN Tower just put one into their, their base. Uh, we've got Air Canada Center, we've got uh, the, the Boulevard Club, the Toronto Cricket Club uh, that put these in. So they're changing because municipalities are strengthening their position on wastewater discharge. So they're very concerned with the, what the, the, the flow into the city sewer system. Um, with a conventional grease trap, you're not compliant. They can't meet compliance to municipal bylaw codes. With these units, you're compliant with the fog discharge, FOG. Uh, it's less than 100 parts per million. With your conventional grease trap, you're going to go from 600 to 800 parts per million fog discharge into the city line. So the, the cities are uh, in favor of this. Uh, they're saving the uh, infrastructure. Uh, it's an aging infrastructure most in, in all municipalities. So uh, this is the technology of the future. The city of San Francisco was the first large metropolis in, in North America to make this type of technology mandatory. Uh, the American state, there's about five American states. Uh, the, the U.S. is five years ahead of us. They've made this technology mandatory. Uh, and uh, they're, they're getting away from the passive style grease trap. Okay, and your website is w dot? Goslin.ca. G-O-S-L-Y-N.ca.